What's up guys? Thank you all for tuning into my 32nd episode of Project Renaissance Man. The reason I wear this smile right now is I just got back from hitting up one of my favorite coffee houses in Lancaster City, um, Aura Cafe, aka um, the es Espresso Room. Uh, delicious coffee, um, legit, authentic Greek food, um, sandwiches, pastries, an outstanding place. If you're ever in Lancaster, if you're ever passing through Central PA, uh, be sure to get your ass over there. Um, it's worth the trip, the extra mileage or whatever you're putting on your car and, um, you know, extra gas. Um, I got myself a red velvet latte. Um, I take this off if, the, if gravity didn't affect, you know, where this ends up, this what's inside of this cup. I would show you that it is even indeed um, red in coloring, which is pretty awesome. I know that's something that a kid would probably get excited about, but let's just put it this way. It makes me feel like a kid. So I love my red velvet latte. Uh, hands down, one of my favorite drinks from there, and I highly recommend it. So getting on to things now. Um, Tonight's episode, what I'm going to talk about is approaching and, and becoming more comfortable with um, approaching people, uh, mainly somebody that you are attracted to, you know, in a romantic way, um, in, more, in a way more than just platonic. And um, I'm going to provide you guys with at least three pointers. I may pitch in a fourth. I just need to see how I wrote this down. Um, we'll just take it as it goes. Um, so the very first pointer I have for you guys is don't put so much pressure on yourself. Um, I know this seems easier said than done, but a lot of times where this pressure comes from is we're just constantly thinking, am I going to nail it? Am I going to land this plane? Am I going to, you know, um, hit the bullseye? You know, when you approach a girl or you approach a guy, you know, and... <sighs> That's, that's your focus. Of course, that's what you want. That's why you're approaching the person in the first place, because you want to see if they would um, be as interested in you as you are in them, and maybe you can start something. Um, but what I mean when I say don't put so much pressure on yourself is go up and have a casual conversation with them. Start up a conversation and just see where it goes. Um, it will naturally... This is an awesome approach because it will naturally... Um, carry you to your goal if if it's intended to be that way. Um, if you just go up and you're just fixating on how you can, um, you know, get a date with this person, it puts way too much pressure on your, on yourself. Um, and especially because you don't know enough about each other. So when you feel each other out and stuff and you're talking to each other and having a casual conversation, you allow for this, for a deeper connection, a more organic and natural connection. So I highly recommend this approach. Second point I have for you guys is get out and become, what did I put there? Yeah, become comfortable with being outside. Um, you obviously can't meet anybody if you're just going to stay inside your apartment or your, your dorm or whatever it is. You got to get out and try different places. Um, this is an awesome way to meet people. And, and, um, Know that uh, know that there's not one there, there's no specific place that is the only place that you can meet somebody. There's no proper place is what I meant to say. Um, you can meet somebody anywhere. I if I go to a cafe, I'll talk to the baristas and see where the, where it goes. Um, if um, if I even at work, do you think because I'm on the clock and I'm getting paid, I'm not going to walk up to a really nice looking girl that I'm attracted to. If she ends up coming in to buy a pair of shoes or look for shoes, hell no. Um, and uh, I actually spoke to one uh, two days ago. Um, the thing is, she was hooked up, uh, but she left She left me no straight from the get-go. Um, she pretty much was saying about, she mentioned her honeymoon. And so I thought that was cool. Nonetheless, um, she could have been a friend. She was, she was, it was a very good conversation. We were talking about different states um, and uh, experiences and stuff like that. And so it was really cool. It lasted for about 20 minutes um, at the least. And so even if you don't get something more out of it, you're still establishing a connection. You're still um, 
brushing up on your social skills. So it's win-win. And then lastly, um, yeah, don't, don't take rejection so hard. Um, there are a million reasons why somebody would reject you. It doesn't have to be a personal thing. It doesn't have to be something that involves your appearance or um, something about you. Sometimes the person's just not in the mood. Um, they're having a bad day and their mind's not on that. Something big could have happened in their lives. Um, they're hooked up with somebody else. Uh, they're busy. Um, or they just got out of a relationship. I've had a girl tell me that already too. And she looked kind of bummed that, you know, that was the case and she had to heal. Um, but I respected that. You know, she's not going to be at her best. Um, she, had a, she had to take time to tend to her wounds. And then the last point I have for you guys is um, get used to social interaction. Start small if you have to. If you have to talk to people of the same sex uh, because it's easier to do that. Like back in the day, if, um, if I had a hard time approaching approaching women, maybe I'll start practicing my skills with guys, just talking to guys about random stuff, just so I can flow naturally with my, you know, um, with whatever I have to say. So that's all I got for you guys tonight. Um, get out there and approach some people. Um, you're going to miss out if you don't. So um, thank you all for tuning in. If you like this video and you feel you have benefited from it, please be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, give me a like, and I will see you all on Wednesday. Later.